on these three sheets I have the content of science and physics everything you've learned from middle school on in science class in high school particularly in physics 11 uh, you might have heard the same stuff in uh, vocational or trades training and in university in first particularly in first year physics mechanics uh, statics all of this stuff comes up and this is going to be a review on that uh, you have studied the same stuff over and over in uh, various levels of depth this is going to be an overview of the physics content I'm not gonna get bogged down or spend too much time on minutia detail so keep that one in mind the classical physics the subject of classical physics or the center of its investigation is all about matter and matter has size and this first sheet is the definitions sheet and I'm um, not trying to insult your intelligence with the obvious but th this is gonna work across these three sheets uh, you'll see it in a sec so matter exists and matter exists in three dimensions and as such it has size okay so that's the first quality of matter that can be observed the second one is that matter exists not only in three dimensions but it exists in a fourth dimension matter has a quantity that can be measured matter has a charge with it at all times and matter is said to have a kinetic state at all times so these are the qualities that can be investigated about matter and when it comes to measuring these, this is the measurement sheet the size of matter is referred to with the word length and here we have a little uh, side trail here because there's a bunch of other words that work and mean the same thing as length and the first one is distance okay we all agree that distance is the same as length okay another one is a little controversial width I know width is going the other way around but close enough nevertheless width and length and distance are still the same concept and consequently height is all length and displacement is still referring to length and if the matter is not in a straight line if it's got a little curvature to it then it's circumference and circumference is still length okay two more words perimeter and strain are featured on this sheet they are all length strain is used in engineering moving over to the units of measurement sheet the size of matter its length is measured in meters and feet and these are just the base units here so again don't get sidetracked with minutia detail this is a review not a thorough physics course in this 15 minutes so and of course you have your metric and imperial or US customary uh, units of measurement in uh, in its multiples so you have feet and inches and miles and yards and everything and you also have meters and kilometers and centimeters and everything so all that is units of measurement for measuring the size of matter you're measuring length next one the next quality of matter is that it exists not only in space but in fourth dimension and that's referred to as time and it's universally measured in seconds matters quantity is referred to when it comes to measurement as mass and mass is measured in kilograms and grams and tons uh, in the metric and pounds slugs grains whatever ounces in the imperial system or the customary system matters electric charge is referred to as electric current and it's measured in amps so that a or amps so that's not that's not area okay that's amps unit of measurement sheet and matters kinetic state is referred to when it comes to measurement with the word temperature and temperature is measured in celsius or fahrenheit 
or Kelvin or Rankine, whichever tickles your fancy. So these are the qualities of matter that can be investigated, the basic qualities, that's not everything but pretty much almost close to being everything that uh, those same qualities are referred to in it when it comes to measurement and those are the units of measurement okay so that's how these three sheets work now matter has size and it can be sh uh, straight or curved shape and matter doesn't exist in one dimension it, it exists in two dimension and its two dimensional extent is called coming up in a sec it also also exists in three dimension and it's got a special name as well the two dimensional extent of a matter is area and the 3d extent is volume or capacity close enough for now I know they are different close enough area and volume are consequently related when it comes to the units of measurement are related to the units of length because they are related to length so there you have square meter and square feet and of course square kilometers and square inches and everything cubic meters cubic kilometers cubic inches cubic feet everything and liters and gallons for capacity because those relate to liquids so that's matters uh, 2 and 3d extent now when matter exists in 3d and uh, at, any, at any given time it is set to be either at rest or in motion when matter is in motion that motion may be a uniform even motion or it might be picking up speed or slowing down these qualities of matter are referred to with the words speed when it comes to matter being in motion or at rest then it has a speed of zero and when matter is slowing down or picking up speed then that change in speed is called acceleration or deceleration depending on your philosophical worldview and these things speed and acceleration are measured in units that relate to meters and seconds consequently speed is meters per second or feet per second or inches per seconds or kilometers per hours or miles per hours or knots if it's nautical miles per seconds or nautical miles related to any unit of time and if it's acceleration or deceleration it's uh, meters per second square feet per second square you get the idea back to the definitions if matter is found to be in motion and it always has a quantity with it matter has a quantity with it at all times and it once it's moving it's said to have a quantity of motion with it and the quantity of motion is referenced to with these three words inertia momentum and kinetic energy okay these are close enough inertia is uh, matter's resistance to being moved momentum is what the quantity of motion it has with it once it is moving at a speed and kinetic energy is also closely related and uh, these ones I intentionally have a dash here don't have a unit of measurement as is uh, close enough okay don't worry about it minutia detail uh, where are we on the sheet there were we okay we're going down here matter in three matter in three dimensions has a certain quantity jam-packed into it like fish in a or like sardines in a can and the more quantity you squeeze into the you squeeze into the same space the higher will be its density and I just I just repeated the word density there okay that's how that's how matters mass and matters volume relate the the <coughs> They uh, create the concept of density and not surprisingly it's measured in units of measurement of mass related to units of measurement for 
volume and it's kilograms per cubic meters or or grams per cubic centimeters or pounds per cubic feet or cubic inches or whatever you can make your own units of measurements out of this the rest of the stuff on this definition sheet relate to qualities moving matter has okay so once it is in motion it or picking up speed and uh, and is changing speed then it's known to cause other matter to move it becomes a cause or an influence to influence to uh, accomplish change okay and what this thing is referred to when it comes to measurement is with the word force or friction which opposes force or in engineering it's stress and these qualities of matter are measured in newtons kilogram force pound force inch you know uh, pound all or dine and I spell those out so you don't uh, associate to eating a dinner so it's dine with that spelling moving matter has uh, its motion its movement or uh, or uh, motion resisted and is uh, and is resisted and is uh, and that motion is is being uh, resisted by another matter is referenced with the word pressure when it comes to measurement okay so that's moving matter uh, forcing itself against a surface a surface area okay and say when you have a uh, pressure in your uh, cars tires that pressure seems to be staying at bay and not doing anything but when it bursts movement and motion will become obvious as shrapnels of tire will be blown everywhere consequently pressure is measured in uh, it's uh, in in pascals in metric or uh, psi pounds per square inch or bars or uh, mercury millimeters or there's a couple of these once matter is moving coming back to the definition sheet this movement uh, takes place in space in 3d and it goes on for a certain amount of distance and how far that motion is uh, carried over or how far or through what distance or height matter is acting through is called in physics torque or work or potential energy and these are measured in whether it's mechanics or thermodynamics it's measured in joules calories BTUs Newton meters uh, pounds feet okay that's just, uh, usually people just say foot pounds but it's actually pounds feet and uh, pounds inches so that's work the last item that I have on this sheet is uh, relates to the rate of change of motion that moving matter has and that's related to uh, uh, with the word power and power is measured in watts kilowatts horsepowers and tons but that tons is not the same as the tons for mass it's uh, it's a ton of cooling or a, you know it's in it's in refrigeration and it has to do with those BTUs so that would be my stuff on the three sheets and uh, just waiting for the camera to focus there so that would be my mini physics review hope you found it useful and uh, if you do let me know if you don't let me know <laughs>